Good afternoon. Right, today what we're going to be discussing is uh, some techniques on what you need to do when you found yourself in, on the golf course in a slightly sticky situation. You're not having the best day in the office, everything's feeling a bit heavy, a bit lethargic, you're not striking it that well, you're not scoring that well, you're hitting some rather ropey shots for you. Uh, how are we going to deal with that? How are we going to deal with that in the best way possible so that you can get this golf ball around this golf course in the best possible way over the 18 holes? That's what we're going to work on. My name's Simon Buckley, I'm the PGA Professional at Hill Barn Golf Club. Uh, here we are on the 18th hole and I'm just going to run through, through with you what you do if you're having a slightly bad day in the office. I've had a good drive, I'm here, we're playing my second shot into the green with an iron. I've hit a few ropey irons in the last few holes, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get myself a little three step process which is going to help me to give me a better chance of delivering the right result. So. First and foremost, I'm not going to panic. I'm going to stay nice and calm and I'm going to kind of regroup. I'm not going to let any bad thoughts I might have of the trees or the bunker or whatever just literally disappear and float away from me and, and, and really just chill out, okay? No point panicking, no point getting stressed, no point getting angry. It's not going to help. That's point one. Point two, I'm then going to make a few really calm and balanced movements. Now, Let's just focus on balance to start with today. So point two is making a few practice swings where your focus is purely on calm, balanced movements, okay? So it's one and two, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna literally transplant that idea onto the golf ball, okay? So we're not gonna try and hit it too hard. We are literally just going to apply that same process to the golf ball. And then hopefully we can get the ball back on the middle of the club face, down the fairway, or ideally on the green, and we can get back together. Remember, golf is played in the present moment. It's one step at a time, one shot at a time. Every shot is like a new game. You, you can't wait to the ninth hole, tenth hole to start all over again. You have to regroup more quickly than that. So it's about getting your head around that, accepting the result, moving on, and going through your nice little process every time. So three steps to a better result.